My name is Audrey Goodero, and today I'm interviewing Evan Yurpido and Kara Brunk of Anthology Studio on State Street in Schenectady. With prom season right around the corner, Evan and Kara are here today to talk to us about what goes on in the process of making corsages, bouquets, and boutonnieres. But first, Evan and Kara, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves and what you do at the Anthology Studio? Well, um, we are all designers at Anthology Studio, and we um, come into work every day to do what we are passionate about. Um, we do weddings, we do flowers, we do design, we do um, prom corsages, boutonnieres. Um, so we do pretty much everything and anything that involves flowers, um, design, and creative materials. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you brought in with us today? <laughs> um, when we make boutonnieres and corsages, we always use pieces, small pieces from the flowers. We don't use the whole stems usually. Um, so we brought a little bit of all those pieces so that we can assemble um, a sample corsage for you today. We have corsage bracelets. We use a lot of different styles, um, both manufactured like this with all the bling and crystals and everything. And we also brought some of our raw materials to make a custom bracelet, one of a kind. Um, so something special that nobody else will ever have. So what's like the general price of a corsage or a boutonniere? Our corsages typically start around $30 and they go up from there. Um, that's going to be for more basic corsage, something on more um, one of these kind of bracelets. If we want to get into a custom design, something that has a little bit more of our character, our personal touch to it, the price for those is usually around $45 and $50 and we go up from there. So, so how do you go through the process of creating a flower, like what's the inspiration? A lot of that process comes from the inspiration from our clients, from their dress especially. Um, first thing we ask is always what your dress looks like. So when we have that picture, um, we, we draw from that as our inspiration. If the dress has a lot of lines and movement to it, if there's a lot of crystals and bling, that tells us something about the character of the dress and the person who's going to be wearing it. Um, so from there we know to kind of design that piece accordingly. If Again, like I said, if there's a lot of movement going on in the dress, we want to mimic that in their flowers. Right. On average, how many corsages and bouquets and boutonnieres do you guys usually make during prom season? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could imagine. I'd say anywhere from 50 to 100. Yeah. And that's usually not just the corsage. We always pair our boutonnieres so that our couples match at prom. So I'd say... Probably 50 to 75 is our average for a prom season. Wow, that's amazing. A lot of, a lot of flowers involved yes. in that. So <laughs> now we're going to have Evan and Kara take us through the process of what goes into making a corsage and putting, corsage and putting it together. So. Well, like we said, um, a lot of that starts with inspiration. So we, we need to know kind of what the dress is going to look like and what we want to accomplish. We kind of, not having that inspiration for today, we just went through our cooler and picked some flowers that we liked and some combinations. Um, so the process starts with, like I said, the individual flowers. So we take those flowers, um, for instance, we would take a stem like this and break it down into individual small pieces. Um, so I have that laid out on the table here, small pieces. And what I then did was I took those small pieces and I clustered them together. So taking like I have here a piece of thistle with a spray rose, and then I'll take a little bit of my wax flower for the foliage more so, and I will put those together in a small little cluster. Um, I'll continue doing this to build up the different elements and layers. I'll keep adding to this one, um, kind of making almost like a small little bouquet in my hand, working in the miniature. Um, each time I tape it, secure it in place so that it keeps that look and style that I want. And then as I get more elements together, I'll start clustering them together. Again, the style of what I'm trying to do um, will depend on the dress. In this case, I'm keeping this a little bit funky, but kind of more lush and elegant. I'm keeping all my flowers the same heights instead of really building out um, a lot of length. So if this was something that I wanted to sit more just on my wrist, I could keep it more in this shape and style and I could layer some more elements and keep that mound kind of growing so that I have just a nice wow. corsage. Um, or if I wanted something with more movement, more drama to it, then I could really start getting some lines into it. I could use longer elements that bring out my line. I could go more dramatic with longer pieces. Um, so 
it all depends on, again, what that style is, but I could turn this into a corsage that almost kind of falls around my wrist um, and different elements like that. So once we've kind of built our flowers, we take our, our bracelet and we would attach it to that. So then from there we have a finished corsage that would sit nicely on my wrist. Very nice. And yeah. yeah, you make that look so easy too. <laughs> we'll just throwing them together. I'm sure there's a lot more involved than that. But I think one important thing to say about especially anthology corsages is that we stick solely to our flowers and our textures. We don't finish our corsages with ribbons and bows, which are what a lot of other flower yeah. shops will use to really fill out their corsages and make it look finished. We like ours to be very natural, so we take some less floristy at, um, attempts at making things and we really finish everything with higher quality right. product, which is our flowers. Yeah, it's not very conventional. It seems very natural and nice exactly. looking. I like it a lot. Um, well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. I think that's all the time we have for today. So special thanks to Evan and Kara and the Anthology Studio in Schenectady. Make sure you go there for your prom. I'm Audrey Guillermo, and you're watching the Teen Beat Channel.